Hello learners, hope you are doing well. So I welcome you all to the week 2 grade assignment solution video and here we are going to discuss the uh, solutions to the grade assignment for week 2. So without further ado, I think we should move on to the first question. The first question reads, the following procedure finds the highest physics marks among females and the lowest physics marks among males from the scores data set. The programmer may have made mistakes in one or more steps. Identify all such steps, if any. And it's given here that it's a multiple select question. So anyways, uh, let's actually start with um, the question. Uh, the step states, uh, arrange all cards in a single pile called pile 1. Okay, so that uh, there is cannot be an error in this step at least. Uh, then the second step says that initialize variable f max to 0 and variable m min to 101. Okay, so uh, we have learned a few algorithms and it will actually help you if you can memorize some of these algorithms. And actually, in, in fact, no, don't even need to memorize it. Understand these algorithms, okay? So it says that you have to initialize the max variable. So I do this, call it max because you know that we have to find the highest physics marks amongst females okay so this basically this variable will store the highest physics marks among females so why am i initializing it to zero so whenever i'm iterating through my steps what i will do is i will first take this variable called f max okay and then i will check it with my physics marks okay uh, let's say physics marks I will see if this physics marks that I'm checking currently on this current card if it is greater than my f max or the current maximum variable or what I think is the current maximum if my current physics marks what I'm checking is greater than that so what I will do is I will assign this physics marks to max so that now this f max will hold the current maximum in physics marks so I hope this makes it a bit clearer why we have chosen f max so that f max is 0 uh, so that uh, you know that there is no marks or there will be at least one mark that is greater than 0 and that will be your new maximum anyways um, now that we have understood what f max does let's go to the next variable next variable says m min so why we have chosen minimum because we have to find the lowest physics marks among males okay so we have chosen that variable to be 101 so again there is a reason why we have done we have done this because um, we know that whenever we have to compare okay we have to see that there is a minimum max marks okay uh, minimum marks among males uh, and we have to check that if this minimum marks is greater than let's say your physics marks okay or the current card you you are looking at a card and you look at the physics marks and you see that the minimum marks or the variable that you think is the minimum if that marks is greater than your current physics marks that means what variable you have stored in minimum m min is not the lowest there is a mark that is lower than the current value and that is what is the physics marks that you're seeing right now in the current card and so what you'll do is you will take this physics marks and you will put it in your m min so you can be assured that what you have checked till now in whatever cards you've checked till now your m min has the minimum card so in the next iteration you'll again see another physics marks okay uh, if that mark is lower than what is in your m min you will then assign that physics marks to m min so like that you keep on going the value of m min will become lower and lower so why have you taken a value 101 is what you might be assuming right you might be thinking why, why is it 101 well we know that the physics marks ranges from 0 to let's say 100 okay uh, let's say lowest marks could be 0 and the highest marks is definitely 100 so there cannot be a mark greater than 100 so even if the lowest marks in physics is 100 okay so m min 
in the first iteration if it sees 100 and that is the lowest marks we will check if the current value in m min is lesser than 100 so in the first iteration the value of m min would be 101 if it is greater than 100 what we do is we will assign this 100 to m min and uh, that's it then uh, let's say that there was no marks lower than 100 so then m min will still remain 100 that is the lowest marks so we can be rest assured that there was at least one mark that was lower than the uh, initialization uh, the value that we have been initialized with okay so in that case we understood that f max and m min were both initialized to the correct va variable you know for the iterations uh, correct value in fact for the iterations. so that is the correct uh, so that step is correct so we can say that this step is correct correct uh, then we can say that for step 3 if pile 1 is empty then stop the iteration this is also correct then we say read the top card on pile 1 ok that's also true now step 5 says that if the gender is m and m min is greater than physics marks then store physics marks in m min ok so again as I said before that this is the exact uh, exact procedure or exact algorithm to find out the minimum marks so you keep the m min as a value higher than the range and you check in each iteration if that minimum mark is greater than your current uh, the uh, the card that you're checking with so in that case if you see that the m min is greater than the card that you're checking with so you have to understand that you are not having the minimum mark stored in m min so you have to uh, replace the value of physics marks or the marks that you're seeing on the card with the current card with the uh, current variable that is m min so this step is correct the logic of this step is correct so we can say that this entire step is correct uh, now checking the logic of step 6 we say that if the gender is f or this gender is female and f max is lesser than physics marks then store physics marks in f max so again this is also the correct uh, logic because we have seen from here that if your maximum variable uh, is the value stored in the maximum variable is less than what is there in the physics marks uh, then what we do is we uh, we store that value of physics marks in f max so that in the next iteration that will be the maximum uh, marks the maximum marks you have seen till now so again the logic is correct so this is also correct and the last step says that move the current card to another pile called pile 2 and repeat from step 3 so from what we have seen here that actually there is no mistakes from step 1 to step 7 the entire logic is right in the correct correct sequence what we expect uh, when we do the computation so which means that there are no mistakes in question number one so the correct answer for question number one is option four which is no mistake so learners do not be afraid to tick such an option if there is an option that says no mistake don't uh, you know waste your time reading through it again and again in one pass if you are you can ascertain that you know you have seen all these steps and there are no mistakes in these uh, kind of questions you have to you don't have to worry at all you just have to correct uh, correctly mark the option as no mistake okay so with that i think we have come to the end of question number one let's move on to question number two